Not sure what's going on there. Don't go falling in love with them, Charlie. We are farmers. <laughs> uh, oh, you're so pretty. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Today's shearing day. So many of you have been asking me like all year, do you not shear your rams? I assure you I shear my rams, but I shear them on a very intentional time of year, which is right now when it's really hot. I want them to feel nice and cool because I want them to breed in like 12 days. And the forecast is horrendous. I think next, I think this Friday, it's supposed to be 35 Celsius with humidity and next, there's a little tiny chance of rain. I'm praying, praying. I think by next Thursday, again, back up to like 33. And I want them to start breeding like a few days after that. So this is the, uh, the big risk factor of breeding in July. It's, it's hit or miss, right? It all depends on the weather. A bit of a risk, but we're gonna take it and hope that we can at least get a few, uh, a few bred. So I've taken you kind of through the steps of what I'm doing to make this breeding group happen, um, but today I'm gonna shear. So Charlie's gonna be here in about half an hour. I just wanna set up pens. I'm gonna do those ewe lambs that are really, really wooly because they've got about a year of growth on them. And I'm gonna share Billy and the boys, and I'm gonna share my older boys. So everybody should be good and cooled off, hopefully. And uh, yeah, they get to business in about 12 days. So let's go set up, and then uh, we'll wait for Charlie together. Hey, ladies, this is your before shots. Yeah, there's a beautiful before picture. Hi, you have a lot of wool. Billy's before picture, Billy. And you're gonna look very nice in a sec. Those two. You guys are gonna look so nice. And last but not least, you guys have kind of already pre-shedded for me, haven't you? Yeah. I think he's here. Okay, Charlie is here. We are all set up, almost. Let's remove the rams into the holding area. So they're gonna get done first. Uh, we set up a couple of pieces of plywood for Charlie to be able to work his magic. We got a fan on him so he stays somewhat cool. It's gonna be really hot today. I told him he's in for hot yoga. Here's our bag of wool. Cool. That's going to be filled up with all the wool. We're going to keep the black ones separate. And then when they're done, they're going to go into the pen. And then I'll grab Billy's pen. And then I'll grab the U-Lamb pen. So that's kind of the, what you're going to see today.
tell that's where the wool came off. It's really dirty. Talking to the camera. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> what's going on there but it looks like a horn tried to grow out so it looks like a unicorn very weird and look who's next Prince William and then we're done the book the old boys so weird okay Prince William you're next Don't go falling in love with him, Charlie. Okay, you guys. Come on, buddy. It's time to get a haircut. Let's go. Come on. Oh, of course, you won't move. That's it. That's it. Follow your, follow your friends. Where you go? Oh, you guys are such sucks. All right.
driver I think so. I don't know where else. That's if you picked it up off a burrito. They were burrito bread. Okay. Uh, these, two, these two look identical to, to, the, to the dad, if it is the dad. And the one in the back looks like them, like the same temperament. But because I don't single sire, I don't know if that, I don't know.
took off his shoes. I guess he wears a cross. Huh? He wears the cross. We are farmers. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Don't quit your day job. <laughs> we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. Uh. <laughs> Charlie should be on TikTok. Barn, we got plenty of wool. Well guys, it's four o'clock. Charlie, Charlie finished at about two, a little bit after two. Carissa just nicely fed and cleaned up everything. She is, she really is a gem. And the boys look very happy, very much thinner, cooler. <laughs> They're showing a lot of like dirt on, in spots along their back. And what it is when we throw over straw and the dust from the straw, it gets in in that wool all that dust just sits there and and sits right on the uh on on the exposed i guess layer underneath the wool uh so their backs look kind of dirty <laughs> the, the rams really cooperated quite well the little ewe lambs were really wiggly and i noticed their back ends are really soiled so that was really hard for him to get in and under that soiled uh grime in the back end and i had a ewe that I missed her tail, and I see now the importance of docking tails as much as we don't really like doing, I don't really like doing it, but I saw how disgusting it can get underneath that. They're drinking a lot. Uh, we change from third cut to first cut, so I think they're just, when, when, the, when a diet changes, same with us, we, our digestive system can be a little loose. Uh, so I think that's what we're kind of seeing, and they're, they just stand by the water bowl, right? So I just think they're, they're probably peeing a lot. Uh, so there's definitely caught a little bit more there the there was a little more nicks than usual and uh, And I think that's pretty normal for shearing this time of year when it's really muggy out Because um, that skin just sticks so I felt bad for him because I know he was feeling really bad their little surface scrapes 
uh, and they rarely bleed even, they, but they, they kind of look, they look bad on camera. Um, but I'll show you kind of what they look like here. Kind of see the little necks there. So you can see that they do, and see how soiled her back end is? So that's what I mean. And my pride and joys, hello. You look so weird. <laughs> Look at you! Oh, you're so pretty! <laughs> Hi! No nicks at all on you guys. No. Hey, it's because you weren't wiggling too bad. <laughs> this guy's just showing off for the ladies. And he's a really nice ram too, so they look really nice all sheared up. <laughs> 